Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be taking an early look at the lineup builds for the NBA slate tonight. Just a two-game slate, but um, we're going to be playing. As a matter of fact, I'm going to work on the late swap stuff because I really still haven't uh, dived into the, the new SaberSim contest simulator tool as applied to late swap. Uh, apparently, it'll update your lineup scores as they're going and tailor your lineups based on the information that's already been processed. Uh, so we're going to try that out tonight. Jordan's going to walk me through that, and I'll make that recording separately. But uh, we're going to do an early lineup build for today, um, just two games, and we're just going to get right to it. First thing we're going to do is just take a look at the sheets and see what we got here. So so I've, I've sorted these, these players by point per dollar to start off with. And there's just one guy right now that we have above 6X, and that's a Kangwu. And then you have Jalen Smith. Not surprisingly, that you know, not surprised that the center position is the misprice. They usually are. And then you have Markel Fultz, who's listed as the next guy, and not a lot of tremendous value after that. When you rate these guys by just fantasy points you'll see that Giannis is 10 points projected higher than everybody else. And that's a pretty difficult thing to overcome. You know, when somebody projects 10 points higher than the next guy, um, you probably want to get him in. Now, again, he's going to be really, really popular. And I don't, I don't believe a word of this, only 38%. He's got to be, I think he's got to be higher than that, but uh, that's what it is. This is interesting. I'm seeing a 48% ownership projection for Bogdan. Um, that's interesting. Let's uh, sort all these guys by sheets value score and see how this kind of normalized a little bit. So it looks like a Kongo still is a good play. Fultz is a good play. Franz Wagner, Bogner, whatever, looks like a good play. Bonchero looks like a good play. So maybe... This isn't a bad idea to like stack this, these Orlando guys. You know, you play Bonchero, Wagner, and Fultz to kind of start off. So let's see what that looks like, by the way. So let's play. Let's see if this questionable thing. Um, questionable. All right. So he's gone. So if you played Fultz, Wagner, and Bonchero. Um, that's a good place to start. And we sh probably should run it back with the Atlantas, right? So that's going to be Trey. Let's just see. We're, we're trying to avoid Giannis somehow. So let's see how that works. So if we did that, we'd want to play a Kongwu, Trey, and, and Murray, Capella, like any of these guys, right? So let's see how that works. Who's shooting guard? Shooting guard, you can play DeJounte Murray. Trey, you have to play at point guard. I mean, what we're really doing here is playing for a blowout in this Milwaukee game because you know, this is not a blowout. And and Giannis gets a full 35 minutes against Indianapolis, who just runs up like the Indianapolis 500, pretty much. Uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of fantasy points. But let's put in a Kangu here. Let's just really just stack the crap out of this. And let's let's play Trey. Play them all. So now we have 3,900 a man left. Uh, and unfortunately, that's not going to work because there really isn't a lot of good value below 3,900. So can't play them all. Let's just see what happens if you take Trey out. If you trade Trey out, you want to put another Atlanta guy? You want to play both centers? You want to play Capella? It's probably not a great idea. What about uh, Jalen Johnson? We did that, then we can play at 5,400 a man. And then you could do stuff like, like what are my top point per dollar plays that would be left? Well, it would be Matherin. And then some, any 5,500 guy that looks like, like Bittazzi from Orlando or, or Wagner. 
one of them. So we really will play four guys from Orlando, three guys from Atlanta, just one guy from uh, from Indiana. So either of these guys work, either Goga or Wagner. And this is the way you fade. This is the way you fade uh, Milwaukee. You know, you fade. You, you just hope this game sort of blows out, or otherwise just just bust. If it's going to be the most popular game, and what's good about this is that. You know, if things aren't going your way, you do have, you know, I don't know what you're really going to do about it, honestly. But you can, you can move up to Trey and move down to some, like, low-owned cheapo or something like that if you did this. So this is definitely one way to play. Um, I can't imagine this being optimal, but, I mean, what you're really supposed to do, you want to know the truth, you're supposed to start with Giannis and Halliburton. That's like another way to play. Like you play Giannis and Halliburton, like and play for this game to stay close, and then you fill the rest of the stuff in with with the top point per dollar plays, which would be well now you could play Jalen Smith, for example, and you could play a Kongu over there. And really, whatever you want. Uh, Markel Fultz. Shoot, more shooting. You play, I mean, you play another guy from the Indiana game if you want. Uh, just none of them really project all that great. We'll, we'll go back to Matherin. So you could play Giannis really easily. And you could play these guys both really easily. But this is going to be like a really popular way to play. So, uh, yeah. All right. So uh, let's do a Saberson build. And this is – I'm going to – the reason why I, I want to do this is I want to experiment with using uh, the geo the geo test stuff on the Sabres – on the uh, basketball. It's not usually – I don't really usually worry about uniques in NBA, but or dupes, but on a two game slate. I mean, I saw, I remember when Bobby chopped that first day, he was chopping like 30 people. Okay. And I don't want that. Um, that's, that's really bad EV in general. So let's, let's, let's make sure to filter this by geo mean and see if that, what that does. So let's first upload the projections or the you know, sheets to Saberson, and we'll build 40 lineups. You got to put it into sim mode and we'll just do this. Uh, and then after that, we'll, 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 I don't know if we need to run a contest sim on a two game slate. Um, I think that using the geo mean filter is enough to get different. We'll, we'll take a look at it. I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a hell of a way to play. Like if you, if you did stack that Atlanta Orlando game and just, just root for like a power outage or, or, you know, or, or I don't know, or sprinkler malfunction in the Indianapolis game, or I don't know, or, or just somehow the game to bust. I mean, it can happen. Then you're the kind of the nuts, right? You really only need one thing to happen, you know, in a weird way. Because I, I listen, I know where well, I shouldn't say that. I was about to say I know where the Orlando production is coming from. Benchero and and Wagner, I want them. Atlanta is going to be, you know, either Dejounte Murray or Trey Young, or maybe both. And the Congo is a good value, so it's not like I have I have issues if I get there, uh, but. Maybe I should probably play Bogdanovich in that line, lineup uh, because if, if he goes off and I don't have him, I'm not going to be happy about it. So this is sort of the lineup I just kind of created, right? Uh, Fultz, Giannis, Fonchero, you know, Fonchero. This certainly makes a lot of sense. Um, but let's let's do a couple of things. Let's let's put Min Uniques 3, kind of change these a little bit. And then what I want to do is I want to – 
run this through the GeoMean tester. So let's let's do a couple of things in order here. Let, let's update our let's do this first actually. A contest. We're, we're gonna add these contest zones. It's money ball and to fade away. Okay. Um oops. Go back into here, back in the settings. And contest sim settings. Okay, so the reason why I did that is yes, I am going to run a contest sim. Uh, you know what? May as well do that anyway. I mean, it couldn't hurt to run the contest. But what I want to do is do a geo mean filtering to try to just eliminate dupes, make sure there aren't any. So let's just see, remind ourselves how many people are in this tournament. So 2,700. 27,450. So we put this in my geo mean calculator. What did I say? 27,000? This is what happens to your brain after a while. Uh, 27,450. So how many people are in the lineup? Eight. Eight people in the lineup. 27,450. And I only want max one duper. So geo mean 27.8. So that's what we have to filter out here. Um, so let's do it. Let's do it all together. First, let's do, let's resort these by risk adjusted ROI. Okay. And then let's see if we do a filter where We want no, we have lineups less than, what was it, 27.8 geo mean. Okay, so just make sure that we do that. Good, so it passed that test. All right, that, that's, that's good. So this is probably a good set of lineups to kind of throw in, okay? Uh, first of all, it doesn't have 100% Giannis, which is what I like. Um, and it passed that geo mean, you know, no, no dupe test. So I do like this. So let's put these in. I'm going to upload the entries. We'll put these in the fade away. And then we'll run this contest sim for the, the big buy-in. Looks a little different. All right. So it gets, gives me Neesmith. It gets me other guys, which is what I sort of like. So let's put this one in the money ball for now. And so this, you see what I did, right? So I, I, I usually talk through all this stuff as I'm doing it, but I'll, I'll, I'll recap what I did in a second. I'm just, let me just uh, upload these. And I'll remind everybody what I did. Cause I'm trying to like give you guys a process to help you build lineups with the tools available to you. Let me just make sure it took. Okay. So again, we, we first started by trying to screw it around with just the sheets and, and putting in kind of a hand-built lineup. And that makes certainly makes some sense. But then what we did was we went into Saberson and built like 40 lineups. And we looked at them a couple of different ways. Remember that first set that we looked at was just without any adjustments. It was this graded by Saber score. And then what we did was we ran a contest sim for both of the contests we're going to be playing. We 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 imported that data from SaberSim and ran the contest sim with that data in mind. And it came up with a whole bunch of lineups that allegedly right, uh, are tailored toward that particular contest, which is great. But the last thing that we did, which I think is really important, especially for a well, always in showdown, well, maybe not always, but most time in showdown and in, even in a two-game slate, just make sure that you're not running contests that rate to be overly duped. Um, so we ran a little geo uh, geo mean filtering where we figured out with our spreadsheet what the geo mean was uh, for a contest, 27,450, eight players in the lineup where you don't want more than one dupe. And then we went into the filtering and filtered all these lineups that we had to only have those lineups, you know, see Geotest 26, Geotest, uh, yeah. So only lineups that had that little. Now, the only thing that we 
Like we didn't have to do that same screen for the money ball. Um, but I think you actually you do. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same same issue. You don't want you don't want any uh you don't want uh you don't want to be duped there as well. But for the money ball, I should probably redo the filter because let me see something. Because for the money ball, it's got less players in it. So let's just see what that is. Um where are my contest settings? We're gonna save that there. For the money ball, there were 500 people in it. So let's let's research this. So I mean we'll research. So here you only need a geometric mean of 45.9. So let's let's redo this filter. Let's just make sure. Actually, here it's already less than 45.9. So we don't need to do it again. But let's replace this money ball lineup because you didn't need to be as unique in the money ball as you did in the fadeaway. So now we will re-download these, we will re-upload these, and we should be in business. And that's, I wouldn't say that's my process. That's a process. And that's what I like to do with the two game slates like this. Now, again, we could, obviously things can change throughout the course of the day. So these players are gonna change, but the process I think is gonna make the, remain the same. So I'm gonna be going live, I think with Bobby at like six o'clock and maybe I'll do this all over again. But that's kind of an early look at what I think uh, you should do for this uh, two-game slate. Uh, that will do it.